Hey everybody, Fan Z here. So, I just got finished finally watching uh, 2023's Killers of the Flower Moon. It, directed by Mark Scorsese. And here's my upcoming review about it. So, this movie takes place in the 1920s, right after World War I. And you have... Ernest Burkhart, uh, returning from war to Oklahoma uh, and being a part of the uh, Osage lands who the Osage Indians got rich from uh, oil being discovered on the land. So Ernest returns and he um, meets up with his uncle, uh, King Bill, Bill Hale, and at the same time he meets Molly Kyle, who is a member of the Osage Nation, and meets her family as well. But things start happening, and one by one the Osage Indians are killed off. And this has to do kind of with oil money. So Ernest is kind of thrust into this situation about if he knew anything about these killings or about that. Plus also dealing with Molly and her family. So as far as the cast goes... Oh, and also, um, after a while, these killings attract the attention of the FBI, who send in a former Texas Ranger to try to solve these murder, uh, these myster this mystery. So, like I said, the cat, the main cast is as follows: you have Leonardo DiCaprio's Ernest Burkhart. You have Lily Gladstone as Molly Kyle, and who turn who gets married to Ernest and becomes Molly Burkhart. You have Robert De Niro as uh, Bill Hale, otherwise known as King Hale, and you have Jesse Plemons as Tom White, the former Texas Ranger. I also did forget to mention that um, Bill Hale is like a favorite among the Osage because he helps build them schools and hospitals and just is a like the main figure in the community. So let's get to what I thought of this movie. This is a very good movie. It's not perfect, but it's a very good movie. On the positive side, it has a great score. It has a great look to it, both in terms of like uh, costumes, but also the cinematography. It is suspenseful as it goes along because you don't know what's going to happen next. But the biggest positive with this movie are the performances. I feel like you have solid performances from both Robert De Niro and Leonardo DiCaprio. But the standout here is Lily Gladstone as Molly Kyle. She is able to stand on the same level and even at times surpass DiCaprio and De Niro with all of the different emotions that she um, produces and shows off. Now, there are a couple small negatives. The first one is... They do it near the end, but a lot of the interactions between Molly and um, other Osage Indians, or even Ernest, is spoken in Osage. But they don't have captions, so you don't understand what they're actually saying. And, I, and you get that captions at the end a little bit, but I wish they showed more of those captions. 
But the biggest issue with this movie that I had is the runtime. It is a three and a half hour movie, and it took me two sittings to get through. And it just, while it's a solid, good movie, I feel like you feel the runtime. Like, it could have, the thing is, it could have been shortened by 30 or 40 minutes and still produced the quality movie that it is. But those are my only nitpicks. So as far as a rating goes, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 Zs. If you enjoy this review, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more reviews like it. But this is my review for 2023's Killers of the Flower Moon. Come back next time for another review. This is Movie Fanzie signing off. Have a good night.